in what is the biggest piece of wrestling news that has potentially ever been covered. Vince McMahon has announced his retirement from WWE. Vince McMahon tweeting just after 4 p.m. local time at 77, time for me to retire. Thank you, WWE Universe. Then, now, forever, together. Hashtag WWE, hashtag thankful. You will excuse me if I'm a bit taken aback, a bit stumbly, but this is unbelievable. Something that I don't think any of us ever expected to happen. WWE.com have re uh, released a press release in the last few minutes as well um, with a fuller statement from the former chairman and CEO of WWE stating, as I approach 77 years old, I feel it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE. Throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. I would like to thank my family for mightily contributing to our success, and I would also like to thank all of our past and present superstars and employees for their dedication and passion for our brand. Most importantly, I would like to thank our fans for allowing us into your homes every week and being your choice of entertainment. I hold the deepest appreciation and admiration for our generations of fans all over the world who have liked, currently like, and sometimes even love our form of sports entertainment. Our global audience can take comfort in knowing WWE will continue to entertain you with the same fervor, dedication, and passion as always. I am extremely confident in the continued success of WWE and I leave our company in the capable hands of an extraordinary group of superstars, employees, and executives, in particular both Chairwoman and Co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and Co-CEO Nick Khan. As the majority shareholder, I will continue to support WWE in any way I can. My personal thanks to our community and business partners, shareholders, and board of directors for their guidance and support through the years. Then, now, forever, together. So, <laughs> where, where, where do you start? Where do you start? Obviously, it came to light last month uh, that Vince McMahon had been accused of paying off various women that he was alleged to have had intimate affairs with, following a report from the Wall Street Journal. Since then, more has come out about that. Reporters at the Wall Street Journal alluded to the fact that more... May Test one, two. Hello. Apologies. My internet cut out there for a brief moment. Um, so the, the, the report was from the Wall Street Journal uh, that Vince McMahon had allegedly paid off um, somebody who he was alleged to have had uh, an intimate affair with. Uh, since then, it was, it was alleged that there may be more women involved and the reporters who were involved in that initial story also said that um, more may be coming out about the specific situation. WWE launched their own internal investigation. Since then, we've seen a major shakeup backstage with Vince stepping down as, um, as CEO and chairman of the company with Stephanie McMahon taking on those responsibilities. We saw Triple H being or returning to his role as um, as vice president of talent relations, EVP of talent relations. Uh, we've seen Johnny Ace step down and Bruce Pritchard take over in the interim. Um, and then in the in the past ten minutes or so, Vince McMahon stepping down 
as chairman of WWE. He is trending worldwide right now on Twitter, as you can imagine, alongside Stephanie McMahon. Um, we are seeing a huge number of reactions for well, the, all of the uh, m many, many people prominent in both wrestling media as well as wrestlers themselves starting to talk about this. I'll do my best to keep you updated um, as this stream continues. Um, I apologize for the the uh, the presentation of this stream. It's obviously not something that I expected to be doing tonight. Um, but once again, Vince McMahon has stepped down as CEO and Chairman of WWE. He has now announced his retirement. It's there on Twitter. And once again, I'm going to go through that press release um, from WWE. Thank you very much to the people behind the scenes at Cultaholic. Before I continue, who are con constantly feeding me information, I'm going to get through this as, as best I can. Uh, you will understand if I don't respond to chat, super chat as I normally would, all that sort of stuff. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight. I'm in absolute disbelief. This is, speaking personally, just something that I never, ever thought would happen. We've talked about this a great deal on the on the videos that we've produced since the allegations first came up. Um, and given that Vince walked out the following night on SmackDown and then the, the, the week after on Monday Night Raw and has seemingly made himself more present than not necessarily ever but in recent years the fact that he showed up at the UFC event and so on and so on it really did look like he was saying that he wouldn't be going anywhere without saying it but um that's obviously not the case. Once again, that press release from WWE.com. As I approach 77 years old, I feel that it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE. Throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. I would like to thank my family for mightily con contributing to our success. And I would also like to thank our past and present superstars and employees for their dedication and passion for our brand. Most importantly, I would like to thank our fans for allowing us into your homes every week and being your choice of entertainment. I hold the deepest appreciation and admiration for our generations of fans all over the world who have liked, currently like, and sometimes even love our form of sports entertainment. Our global audience can take comfort in knowing WWE will continue to entertain you with the same fervor, dedication, and passion as always. I am extremely confident in the continued success of WWE, and I leave our company in the capable hands of an extraordinary group of superstars, employees, and executives in particular. And I think this is really uh, a very, very key point in this. Both chairwoman and co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and now co-CEO Nick Khan. A huge, huge point there. As the majority shareholder, I will continue to support WWE in any way I can. My personal thanks to our community and business partners, shareholders, and board of directors for their guidance and support through the years. Then, now, forever, together. Um, since this has all broken, Nick Khan has tweeted the now co-CEO of WWE. I'm in complete disbelief right now. So once again, co-CEO Nick Khan, the other half of that being Stephanie McMahon. Nick Khan has tweeted the following. Um, sorry, no, I've uh, I've I've missed. That's just uh, that's just. Sorry, I will update you on that in, in just a moment. Uh, Brian Alvarez tweeting, Vince sent out a message to Talent confirming his departure, noting that they wouldn't be seeing him, but he would be watching them, and then concluded with a plug for SmackDown tonight. Uh, Renee Paquette, the former Renee Young, of course, um, has tweeted, think he'll do my podcast? Question mark. Um, we have had a speaking of Khans, we have just uh, we've just had a tweet from Tony Khan as well. Um, jumping jumping on it quite quickly. Tony Khan has tweeted, "Thanks to you, wrestling fans, and your great support of AEW, I'm grateful to now be the longest tenured CEO in pro wrestling." Thank you very much to every single person who watches 
AEW on TV. See you Friday night, AEW Rampage on TNT. I imagine there will be a lot more people watching SmackDown tonight than there would normally be. Uh, Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful.com and stick with me. Stick with me because we'll try and bring you um, as much news from as many outlets as possible uh, has teased that some immediate news on Vince McMahon's retirement is coming to Fightful Select very, very shortly. So we'll do what we can there also. Um, we have a new tweet from Brian Alvarez as well. Vince sent out a message to Talent confirming his departure, just reaffirming um, what he what he mentioned um, earlier there. Um Pat McAfee tweeting the um, the eyes emoji. Um, it'll be very, very interesting to see how this plays out on SmackDown tonight. Um, Vince McMahon had obviously been um, continuing with his role as of, of head of creative. He was still heading up creative while um, while the investigation was underway. And I think many, if not all of us, expected Vince McMahon to be resuming his responsibilities in the not too distant future. I don't want to speculate as to what this will um, what this will mean um, for the company moving forward too much, but we do now know that Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan. Uh, are both CEOs of WWE. Um, the I guess the assumption would be that the internal investigation being conducted by WWE has maybe unearthed something, or they've come to the conclusion that Vince McMahon's position wasn't tenable um, within within the company. Um, so absolutely insane news. Uh, once again, I, I think many of us expected Vince McMahon to be working probably until the the, the day he, he was no longer with us. Uh, and to be sat here on some seemingly random Friday night announcing that Vince McMahon has announced his retirement from WWE is the most surreal and insane thing to be doing so once again I'm, go I'm gonna go through because we've got people joining constantly if you're just tuning in welcome uh vince mcmahon tweeting um 30 minutes or so ago at 77 time for me to retire thank you wwe universe then now forever together hashtag wwe hashtag thankful um and then WWE, mere moments later, uh, with a press release. As I approach 77 years old, I feel like it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE. Throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. Excuse me. I would like to thank my family for mightily contributing to our success. And I would also like to thank all of our past and present superstars and employees for their dedication and passion for our brand. Most importantly, I would like to thank our fans for allowing us into your homes every week and being your choice of entertainment. This feels like a dream. Um, not... Uh, I, I hold the deepest appreciation and admiration for our generations of fans all over the world who have liked, currently like, and sometimes even love our form of sports entertainment. Our global audience can take comfort in knowing WWE will continue to entertain you with the same fervor, dedication, and passion as always. I'm extremely confident in the continued success of WWE and I leave our company in the capable hands of an extraordinary group of superstars, employees, and executives in particular. And once again, a key point if you're just tuning in, in particular, both chairwoman and co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and co-CEO Nick Khan. It has been left in the hands of Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan. 
As the majority shareholder, I will continue to support WWE in any way I can. My personal thanks to our community and business partners, shareholders, and board of directors for their guidance and support through the years. Then, now, forever, together. Once again, Vince McMahon now trending worldwide alongside Stephanie McMahon as well. This follows the news this afternoon that uh, Triple H was returning to the company, something that I think a lot of us knew already just by the reports. He had been backstage at the Performance Center saying, I'm back. We now know that he is the EVP of Talent Relations. Um, he has taken on that role and, uh, of course, a very, very senior position. This is a completely, WW, uh, completely different WWE from where we were when we woke up this morning. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see how things progress. Both from a business standpoint and creatively. Um, we've got more on the Vince McMahon retirement as well as who's running SmackDown tonight. This is courtesy of Mike Johnson of PW Insider. Um, and their report states, PW Insider is told the Vince McMahon retirement decision was privately made about a week or so ago. We are told that the decision was made to place Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan into the co-CEO CEO role Sorry, shortly after it was clear that McMahon would be exiting. We are told that it was a very closed circle that knew and shockwaves are still registering within WWE HQ and beyond. Kevin Dunn and Bruce Pritchard are the point people running tonight's SmackDown taping, which is emanating from Boston. New WWE co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and Triple H, who has, of course, once again has taken on that EVP of talent relations role that was announced today on the corporate WWE website. They are both backstage at tonight's SmackDown taping, so obviously everybody is going to defer to them as well. Vince McMahon was not present at all today and will not be officially involved in the creative process going forward very very interesting um stuff uh, uh apparently brandon thurston of wrestlenomics on twitter has just uh just mentioned there that there is a meeting for all wwe staff in 30 minutes um at, or 20 minutes now 5 p.m eastern there's going to be a, a wwe staff meeting which you would assume would be headed up at least by Stephanie McMahon, perhaps Nick Khan as well. I would imagine that Triple H will certainly um, be there as well. Um, but absolutely, absolutely insane news. I'm trying to gather as much as I can right now. Apologi apologies once again for how all over the place um this this is um but it's it's a obvious it's a very uh constantly evolving situation i'm trying to gather as much information as i can once again thank you very much uh to uh everybody who's putting stuff together for me um right now uh we have a new report in fact from fightful sean ross sap of fightful um, the announcement was made at 4.05 p.m. Eastern. Um, Fightful has been told there is an all-hands-on-deck meeting at 5 p.m. That um, was also echoed by Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics on Twitter a few moments ago. Um, it was reported earlier today that the new EVP of Talent Relations, uh, Stephanie and Nick Khan, were all set to be in Boston. That was reported by Fightful earlier on today. I guess we now know the, the reason for that. A mass, mess, uh, mass message went out to those within WWE from Vince McMahon announcing the news. Um, there have been heavy moves made within WWE and Fightful have been told to expect more. So this isn't the end of it. Um, according to this report, at least. One talent immediately contacting Fightful, saying they will believe it once the shows come and go and he's no longer involved. So there seems to be doubt, there seems to be skepticism on the part of at least one member of the WWE roster. I can understand that. I, I, I think I can understand that because this is just... Even though that the you know the investigation was was happening, and obviously 
there was going to be a conclusion to that. I don't think any of us expected that conclusion to be Vince McMahon stepping down from the company that you, you know he, he he's been he's been running it and is is the reason that we're all watching professional wrestling realistically speaking he is the reason that all of us are familiar with what pro wrestling sports entertainment is regardless of your feelings on Vince McMahon as a human being regardless of your feelings on the allegation or allegations towards him i don't think any of us would be um I think it's very unlikely anyway that we would be wrestling fans without without Vince McMahon. So uh, once again, I'm going to go through some of the tweets, some of the reactions, um, as, as many as you can throw at me, the cultaholic people, um, if you've got me on in the background, keep them coming. But once again, Tony Khan, AEW, uh, ahead of AEW there. Uh, Tony Khan tweeting, thank you to wrestling fans for your great support of AEW. I'm grateful to now be the longest tenured CEO in pro wrestling. A Saki tweet there from Tony. Thank you very much to every single person who watches AEW. See you on Friday for Rampage. Uh, Brian Alvarez um, tweeting, uh, Vince sent out a message to talent confirming his departure, noting that they wouldn't be seeing him, but he would be watching them. And then concluded with a plug for SmackDown tonight. Once again, it was made very clear in, in the press release from WWE.com. Vince McMahon is still the majority shareholder. We'll keep you updated um, should he come to, to sell any shares or should, should things change there. But the key points from this, uh, that Vince McMahon has announced his retirement and the new co-CEO's of WWE, Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan. Nick Khan, a very controversial, maybe divisive figure within WWE, a guy who seemingly came from absolutely nowhere and is now co-CEO of the company. And I cannot believe that I'm saying that. Um, thank you very much once again. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to try and keep you as, as updated as I possibly can do from my spare room here in Gateshead. Um, thank you. I apologize, I apologize rather again for not being able to get to the super chats as, as much as I'd like. I'll try and read a few as we go on, but that's really very much not what we're, uh, what we're here for tonight. But thank you everybody who's, who's, who's sent messages. Um, uh, appreciate it massively. Once again, that retirement message from Vince McMahon, 4 5 PM on Twitter, um, just 40 minutes ago now. This, ugh, honestly, this feels so surreal. I, I, <laughs> um, at 77, time for me to retire. Thank you, WWE Universe. Then, now, forever, together. Um, and, and there it is, followed by that corporate announcement, um, a press release from WWE.com. Just elaborating on that statement, and I'll read it one more time for you. I say one more time. I'll probably do it a few more times tonight. Uh, as I approach 77 years old, it's time for me to retire. I feel, sorry, it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE. Throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. I would like to thank my family for mightily contributing to our success, and I would also like to thank all of our past and present superstars and employees for their dedication and passion for our brand. Most importantly, I would like to thank our fans for allowing us into your homes every week and being your choice of entertainment. I hold the deepest appreciation and admiration for our generations of fans all over the world who have liked, currently like, and sometimes even love our form of of sports entertainment. Our global audience can take comfort in knowing WWE will continue to entertain you with the same fervor, dedication, and passion as always. I'm extremely confident in the continued success of WWE, and I leave our company in the capable hands of an extraordinary group of superstars, employees, and executives. In particular, again, a very key point here, both chairwoman and co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and co-CEO Nick Khan. As the majority shareholder, again, Vince McMahon is still majority shareholder 
of WWE. I will continue to support WWE in any way I can. My personal thanks to our community and business partners, shareholders and board of directors for their guidance and support through the years. Then, now, forever, together. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was announced at 4.05 p.m. BST. Um, so, I mean... Vince McMahon has uh, he 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 made his his debut. It was pre nineteen seventy. I I want to say sixty nine. I want to say nineteen sixty nine was it for WWWF as a as an announcer. So he was he he was he was working there, um, and then sort of took on. Uh, a, a bigger role within his father's company at the time in the in the, in the 70s um push for the renaming um of the company to wwf for which which many of us will have grown up with it, of course being wwf um and then in 1979 uh titan sports and absolutely just, I, 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 again, I mean, disbelief. I apologize. I, I really am very, very sorry for not having the professionalism of of somebody who, in my position, I probably should have. Uh, <laughs> but this, this is just something that I really, really didn't think would actually happen. Every time that I've spoken about this in in a in a news video, on a stream, whatever since the allegations uh had had been made originally allegation had been made that vince mcmahon had had, had paid off somebody that he had had intimate relations with uh and then more more came out about it, including a former female wwe member of the the, the roster um I, I really did think, and, and considering Vince's uh, Vince's on screen at least reaction to this all, it really did look like he wouldn't be going anywhere. But I am completely flabbergasted by this. Um, this is arguably the biggest thing that could happen in wrestling media today. I don't think there's 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 anything bigger. Vince McMahon stepping down from WWE. So. Again, Vince McMahon, um, it's it's being stated that he is retiring from all roles that has been um, that, that that has been confirmed by Brandon Thurston in the past few minutes as well. That includes head of creative, um, and that has been confirmed, in fact, to Brandon Thurston by a WWE spokesperson. I do not envy WWE's. PR and press team right now um so there has been speculation of course that he would continue to work in creative that he would continue on with this because when the allegation uh came out uh via the wall street journal he stepped down his business side of things as chairman and ceo of wwe he was replaced by stephanie mcmahon he stayed on in that creative role he was still heading up creative he is stepping down from everything um brian alvarez jesus christ <laughs> sorry brian alvarez in the past two minutes has just tweeted from several sources brock lesnar has left smackdown brock lesnar next weekend has a match for the undisputed Universal, WWE title, Roman Reigns, SummerSlam, biggest party of the summer, Jesus. <laughs> Brian Alvarez, in the last couple of minutes, has tweeted from several sources, Brock Lesnar has left SmackDown. Sort of need to pinch myself <laughs> to see it. If this is real, um, Brock Brock Lesnar has left SmackDown. They are not talking about the brand. I can see people in the chat saying, oh, he's left the brand. Is he going to Raw? That's not what that means. Brock Lesnar, according to reports, has left tonight's SmackDown show. 
huge. Absolutely huge. I, I, I have no idea what SmackDown is going to look like tonight. You've got me for live reactions, so... <laughs> I wasn't planning on it tonight. Um, that Again, just to confirm, that is not Brock Lesnar leaving SmackDown. He's not going to NXT UK. That's not him wor walking out and heading to Croydon or wherever the hell it is. That's Brock Lesnar has just departed the SmackDown show tonight. Do not expect to see him on the show I mean, why? As if this could get any more bonkers. This is this is a night, by the way. If you're watching right now, I think the the nine thousand odd people that are watching. <laughs> my colleague Lewis has just said he just didn't want to sit through a meeting. Yeah, fair enough. Doesn't want to listen to Stephanie and Tony Khan. Not Tony Khan, Nick Khan. Apologies. That's Tony Khan has not taken over WWE. Um, this is a it not. This is a historic night. This is something for many of us, probably myself included. This is the biggest thing to ever happen in wrestling, sports entertainment since since we've been watching. I can't think of anything bigger than this. And again, this just feels so unbelievably, so unbelievably surreal. So unbelievably surreal. Um, so again, Brock Lesnar has left the arena. Do not expect to see Brock Lesnar on SmackDown tonight. He would have been there building to his match against Roman Reigns for the um, undisputed WWE Universal title, the belts. He would have been challenging for the belts at, at SummerSlam. We don't know. Um, we don't know if Brock is going to be a part of that match at all. I'll do my best to keep you updated as I flick around about 50 tabs on my two monitors. I was talking to Fraser earlier on today about if anything could could realistically be bigger news than CM Punk returning to wrestling. It's it's something that you know doing this for 7 years now we talked about relentlessly until it actually happened. This eclipses it and then some. Vince McMahon has stepped down from from WWE. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna read the statement again. This is the press release from WWE.com because there are still people joining um right now. Uh this is the statement that WWE.com um issued um from Vince McMahon himself, elaborating on the tweet that just said, basically, at 77, it's time for me to retire. Thank you, WWE Universe. Um, the press release, as I approach 77 years old, I feel like it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE. Throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. Just take a break. I can't. I can't believe that I even just compared CM Punk coming back to wrestling to Vince McMahon stepping down from WWE. It was big for us. All right. I would like to thank my family for mightily contributing to our success, and I would like to also thank all of our past and present superstars and employees for their dedication and passion for our brand. Most importantly, I'd like to thank our fans for allowing us into your homes every week and being your choice of entertainment. I hold the deepest appreciation and admiration for our generations of fans all over the world who have liked, currently like, and sometimes even love our form of sports entertainment. Our global audience can take comfort in knowing WWE will continue to entertain you with the same fervor, deter uh, dedication, sorry, and passion as always. I'm extremely confident in the continued success of WWE and I leave our company in the capable hands of an extraordinary group of superstars, employees, and executives in particular. And once again, that very key point, 
we now know who is going to be heading up WWE, both chairwoman and co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and co-CEO Nick Khan. As the majority shareholder, I will continue to support WWE in any way I can. My personal thanks to our community and business partners, shareholders and board of directors for their guidance and support through the years. Then, now, forever, together. Vince McMahon is trending worldwide, as you would expect, on Twitter, which is grand because WWE love that. They're finally getting some mainstream press um some more brock news coming to fightful so we'll get you that in 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 moments um but brock uh a bit of elaboration on brian alvarez's report saying from several sources brock lesnar has left smackdown once again he's left the smackdown show um has has walked out and a bit of a bit more on that Sean Ross Sapp from Fightful.com saying, was told Brock was peed off. Which isn't the way that you want Brock Lesnar. Regardless of who is heading up the company, that is not how you want Brock Lesnar. One of your biggest draws, arguably the biggest draw in WWE. He is off and has left the building and do not expect to see Brock Lesnar on SmackDown tonight. SmackDown starting in three hours. Once again, I'll be live for reactions tonight. We have no idea what is going to happen. I imagine well, this, Vince isn't around to tear the script up, at least. The script has probably been torn up. Um, And I just hope we get Mad Cat Moss versus Baron Corbin, to be honest. I'll be disappointed if we don't get that. I wonder how the show's going to kick off. I, I, have, I have no idea how they address this. One would assume that Stephanie McMahon, who has, of course, more of an on-screen role than Nick Khan, um, will head out there um, and make some sort of statement, probably echo what has been released on WWE.com. I wouldn't expect to hear too much more from WWE um uh, as a as a media outlet a corporation tonight they've made their statement they may they may say a few more bits but once again it's been confirmed that Vince McMahon is stepping down from all roles he is no longer um heading up creative for the company at all there are still there are still hun literally hundreds of people joining and confused as to what's going on Vince McMahon this isn't some some prank or something like that this isn't the, the, this is legit. Vince McMahon has announced his retirement. That's absolutely um, what 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 is, has happened here. Um, WWE sources indicating to various outlets that Vince McMahon no longer head of creative. Um, and just to follow up once again, the, there were immediate internal rumors from Fightful. This is that Brock Lesnar was very pissed off about the news and left. Brian Alvarez reporting that they had also heard that rumor. Brock would have been there tonight to further his feud with Roman Reigns ahead of their seventh, I want to say seventh, um, big match uh, together. So so there you go. There you go. We've seen massive amount of corporate restructuring within WWE over the past month or so. John Laurinaitis, former head of talent relations he stepped down bruce pritchard stepped into that role then it was announced by wwe today that triple h would be the um evp of talent relations um and so that that's about as much as we know from wwe directly so far but this is again um it, it's it's evolving so very quickly. I, it, there's constant information um, coming through. A bit of an update on that meeting that was scheduled to take place. Now, it's, it, it should have just started. Apparently, this is a company-wide Zoom meeting. So even people who aren't at SmackDown being asked to be on it. I'm not sure if that's WWE contracted full, like not full-time, but WWE probably contracted staff members or if that includes talent as well. As soon as we uh, as we hear any more on that, 
we'll let you know. Um, just a little tidbit here. Elijah Burke, of all people, not a name that I expected to be talking about tonight, um, has, has paid tribute to Vince McMahon on Twitter. No Vince, no WWE, which is absolutely true. Uh, and he also says, no Vince, no WWE, no Elijah Burke. Should have been tragic. Never thought that such a thing was possible, but at the end of the day, the man did what he's always enforced others to do, and that is what is best for business. Enjoy your retirement. Hashtag Vince McMahon. Hashtag Vince. Hashtag Vince retires. Hashtag, hashtag thank you. Hashtag WWE. Um, so there you go. Um, if you if you wanted to know what Elijah Burke had to say about the situation, then Cultaholic very much the place to be, not just for Vince McMahon news, but also for all Elijah Burke news. We've got plenty more coming your way with regard to Elijah Burke and the lesser news of Vince McMahon stepping down. <laughs> as, as, sorry, I'm all over the place. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to everybody for, again, thank you to all the cultaholic peeps <laughs> for, for throwing so much at me, even the Elijah Burke stuff. That's courtesy of Tom Campbell. God bless him. Thank you very much indeed. Um, we're trying to get in contact with Elijah Blur uh, Elijah Burke. Elijah Burke. Uh, right now, Tom's on the blower. He's trying. He's he's doing his best, but he's a man who's always in demand. Let alone when Vince McMahon announces his retirement from WWE. God bless. Elijah Burke and Tom Campbell. Uh, if you are just tuning in once again, as my voice starts to go, a reminder that I'll be live in three hours for SmackDown reactions to see what the heck is going on there. Um, Vince McMahon has um, has announced his retirement from WWE, um, saying that it is time for him to retire. This follows um, the allegations that he had paid off uh, women that he had had intimate relationships with. Um, it started off as one, the Wall Street Journal reporting that you know all of this already, I'm sure. Uh, but just in case you're a new viewer, <laughs> um, uh, that was uh, that was the allegation made toward Vince. And then it became clear that there were multiple women um, who were alleging that this has happened and had been paid off for, for these for these relationships, um, for the, for these acts that had occurred. I'll be careful what I say here. Um, and then some corporate reshuffling that continued on today with Triple H being announced as EVP of Talent Relations. Um, and, and now Vince McMahon has stepped down. Uh, again, according to reports, this has been known. This was gonna, this was coming for the for the last for the last week. Um, but it's uh, it's taken place just before just before SmackDown. Um, so we will see how that particular show um, plays out. Again, Tony Khan has has, has capitalized. On what is going on, uh, very, very quick getting his phone out and uh, and posting on Twitter. Tony Khan tweeting, Thanks to you wrestling fans and your great support of AEW, I'm grateful to now be the longest tenured CEO in pro wrestling. Um, thank you very much, every single person who watches AEW. So just trying to get a few more eyes on, um, <laughs> on AEW. Got to do what you got to do, right? Um, Pat McAfee responding just with the the sideways eyes, you know, the emoji, that one. Um, so Pat McAfee, uh, of course, will be expected to be on SmackDown. I'm sure we will see Pat McAfee on SmackDown tonight, unless he does a Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar has walked out, according to various reports, first of all from Brian Alvarez, from several sources, Brock Lesnar has left SmackDown, and then Sean Ross Sapp tweeting that he heard that Brock was peed off. Very, very angry, Brock, indeed. Uh, that There is a company-wide Zoom meeting happening right now. That's taking place on Zoom. Um, so I imagine we'll start hearing stuff coming through from that, depending on how long it is. Don't know if there'll be a Q&A section or what. Quick... Uh, Quick game of Jackbox or something like that. But I imagine some more news will be coming out of that very shortly. So um, uh, we'll keep you updated if we hear anything um, via via various reports. Um, 
as soon as we know anything. And uh, Twitter is... It's a meltdown right now. Vince McMahon trending worldwide alongside Stephanie McMahon and presumably alongside Elijah Burke who has said, no Vince, no WWE, no Elijah Burke. Never thought that such a thing was possible, but at the end of the day, the man did what he's always enforced others to do and that's to do what's best for business. Enjoy your retirement. Hashtag Vince McMahon. Hashtag Vince Hashtag Vince retires. Hashtag thank you. Hashtag WWE. And I can confirm now that hashtag Elijah Burke is trending not just worldwide, but galaxy wide. Um, so Elijah Burke. Um, I, 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 I don't know how this affects things. I would expect SmackDown to play out, play out tonight as typically as a SmackDown, you would. As typically as SmackDown would do. I don't think we're going to. Apart from maybe a Stephanie McMahon announcement at the beginning. I don't think it's going to be that different. I think we're going to see these changes coming. Over the, the following weeks and months. Both from a creative and business standpoint. Um. Pat McAfee, in fact, tweeting, uh, following that the, the, the eye, sideways eye emoji, um, tweeting, thank you for the decades of dedication to entertainment. Thank you for the miles you traveled. Thank you for the sacrifices. Thank you for the priceless business advice. Thank you for the opportunity to be a WWE superstar at Elijah Burke. I'm kidding. At Vince McMahon. You're not perfect. But you are forever a legend. Um, and I... I again, completely blindsided. Cannot believe it. If Again, if you're just tuning in, this isn't a joke. Still seeing just so many people pop up. Not, not thinking this is real. This is... This is as real as it gets in sports entertainment this is this is legit Vince McMahon has retired um from from WWE and Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan have taken over um as co-CEOs of the company so <laughs> Brock Lesnar's walked out I don't know what else was scheduled for SmackDown off the top of my head. If you log on to WWE.com, <laughs> the first page, the first page, the, the home page here, literally just says Brock Lesnar returns to SmackDown tonight. I'm not sure that's happening. <laughs> um, Brock Lesnar reportedly walking out. But that's what you see right now. There is no mention of Vince McMahon or his departure from WWE on WWE's homepage. However, one would assume if I go to corporate.wwe.com, there it is. Vince McMahon retires. Um, on the corporate page. Nothing on WWE, the consumer-facing website. Um... On SmackDown, and who knows if we're going to get any of this? Who knows? Um, Liv Morgan is coming face to face with Ronda Rousey. It's not a match. It's not a match. That's SummerSlam. Um, but there's there's going to be that maybe. Who knows? Uh, Ludwig Kaiser is taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. Maybe. Who knows? And uh, <laughs> Maxine Dupree is debuting alongside. Maximum Male Models beachwear line as well. So big stuff happening across the board. Um, we've got one match announced. We've got Brock Lesnar announced. He's probably not going to be there. Um, an update on the meeting, which has apparently just concluded from Brian Alvarez now. There's nothing of substance here. Um, so apparently nothing of note happened at the meeting, just a note that he was gone. And now, 
back to work. It's business as usual. And that's the phrase that we've been hearing nonstop. Business as usual. There was a report that Vince McMahon, following that SmackDown promo, uh, which, which happened the evening following, or the evening of the allegations, he came backstage and loudly shouted, F them. And everything has been done to make it clear that, you know, it would be business as usual. That nothing would be changing within WWE. Vince McMahon continuing um, continuing with his role as head of creative. Um, and then on some random Friday night, a day which will literally go down in history. This is the... the the biggest wrestling news again that you can absolutely imagine. The 22nd of July, 2022, Vince McMahon stepping down. And you thought it ended at Elijah Burke, but it doesn't. Leo Rush, former WWE superstar, Leo Rush, has also reacted to the news with an incredibly in-depth and explosive tweet. It's the eye emoji once again. That thing, uh, it's the same thing that, that, <laughs> that Pat McAfee tweeted um, tweeted just about an hour ago before elaborating a little bit, thanking Vince McMahon for his countless sacrifices, dedication, business advice, and so on. Um, but there you go. There you go. Um, so now, I guess, now now we find out as wrestling fans. Because one constant, forever, for the last 20 years or so, has been when people don't like WWE's creative. Is it Vince's fault? How are things going to develop? Because this isn't just going to be interesting... Tonight, obviously. This is interesting for the next week, month, year. How does the company develop? How do things how do things progress from here? How do things change from an on-screen standpoint? How do things change behind the scenes? Is WWE's creative going to improve? Probably some content that will be coming out on Cultaholic. Over the next 50 years on that. It's going to be fascinating. Um, one very interesting point. Uh, that Fraser uh, of Cultaholic is just... Uh, Fraser of Cultaholic. Fraser has just, uh, has just brought up the news regarding TV 14. So WWE has been PG for so long. Tom did a fascinating video about it. It's on the channel now if you don't want to hear me waffle for the next however long. The, the, the announcement was made, or reports were made at least, in the last week that WWE was scrapping its PG rating and going TV 14. Very, very interesting timing. Very interesting timing on that. Indeed. Will we see Vince on WWE TV again in the flesh? I've got, I've got so many questions and I don't know the answer to any of it. Any of it at all. But we do know. Let's just, let's go, let's go through the facts. Let's go through the facts. Vince McMahon, if you're just tuning in, has stepped down. He has retired as chairman and CEO of WWE, he's retired from WWE. Stephanie McMahon had taken over his responsibilities with regards to the business side of things. Vince McMahon was still heading up creative. That is something that he is not going to be doing anymore. Vince McMahon has stepped down. We do know that the new co-CEOs of the company are Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan. A name that I hadn't even heard of five years ago. <laughs> Who's Stephanie McMahon? No, Nick Khan. According to reports, Brock Lesnar has walked out of the SmackDown show tonight. Brock Lesnar has left. According to Brian Alvarez, Sean Ross Sapp from Fightful backing him up on this. 
and saying that the, the Brock Lesnar is is very very peed off. And SmackDown is going to be going ahead tonight, one would assume, without Brock Lesnar. Maybe Elijah Burke's free. I don't know. I don't know. Will we see Brock Lesnar again? One would assume so. He's scheduled for a match in in two weeks. Do we know who will be over creative right now? Thank you, Doctor, by the way. So I'm, I, I apologize. I, I'm so sorry if I missed any Super Chats. Again, I forgot to turn it off before we even went live it's not the intention tonight we're just trying to get the news to you as quick as possible thank you for your support massive massive thank you um no no we don't we do know that triple h has taken over um as as evp uh, head of talent relations um and there's apparently a new tweet in from brian alvarez brock's line was some derivative of if he's gone I'm gone. Wow. <laughs> so there you go. Brock has said something to the effect of if he's gone, if Vince McMahon is gone, I'm gone. Which shows you the, the relationship, the strength of the relationship between Vince McMahon and Brock Lesnar. Brock strikes me as somebody who's probably not going to go back on that either. So I'm looking forward to Roman Reigns versus Goldberg at SummerSlam. <laughs> I don't know what to make. Uh, Jim Ross has just... Uh, has just tweeted as well, simply saying, wow, hell of a day. He's not wrong. He's certainly not wrong at all. Um, an insider source on Reddit. You'll be familiar with this, and it's going to sound like I'm making it up, right? Kermit125. He is a very, very reputable source. Has leaked a load of stuff to Squared Circle, the most prominent pro wrestling community within Reddit. Um, has leaked. Has leaked the letter to talent from Vince McMahon. And this is as... Jack's literally written at the bottom of this that this isn't a joke because it looks like a joke. Stick with me. It's similar-ish, at least at the beginning, uh, for, for, from what we, we, we've heard from Vince on Twitter. I'll read this now. To all WWE superstars, as I approach 77 years old, open brackets... OMG, am I really that old? Close bracket. I feel that it's time for me to retire. I've thoroughly enjoyed sharing my passion, wisdom, and love of the business with you. No longer will you see the smiling, docile, level-headed, calm presence at Gorilla every week. He is talking about himself there. <laughs> Very self-aware. Your dedication to WWE will ensure that our company will continue to grow and prosper. Our organization is nothing without you. You are WWE's only natural resource chosen to perform in front of a global audience. You are all WWE global ambassadors. Carry the WWE flag wherever you go. Wave it high and proud and bust your ass to be all you can be as a person and as a performer. One other thing, I won't be with you, but I'll be watching. Remember to keep your hands up, grab a hold, and sell. By the way, SmackDown is live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern slash 7 p.m. Central on Fox. Vince, that's not a joke. That's legit, by the way. That is a verified insider source from Reddit. OMG, am I really that old? Not my words, the words of Vince McMahon in his letter to WWE talent. You you would, given the fact that it ends with, by the way, SmackDown is live tonight at 8 p.m., 7 on Fox. The expectation is that that, of course, and of course it has been, but of course would be leaked. So one final plug there for the blue brand. Do not expect to see Brock Lesnar. 
on the show tonight. 11,000 people watching this. I'm going to go through everything again and again for those who are just tuning in um, to the stream. But Vince McMahon has stepped down. New co-CEOs, Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan. Brock Lesnar has reportedly walked out of SmackDown tonight. He has peed off. He said something to the effect of, if he's gone, I'm gone. So, do not expect to see Brock Lesnar tonight. Potentially, do not expect to see Brock Lesnar in a WWE ring ever again, if those words are to be believed. Uh, I don't know if that counts as far as NXT, NXT UK goes. Uh, we might see him head there uh that's we, we know that there has been a meeting with talent via zoom it lasted mere minutes they just repeated what had been said and just went business as usual crack on do your jobs and that's been very much uh the line there uh, or the direction there from a departing vince mcmahon in that letter to talent where he it's it's the most human thing that I've ever seen from Vince McMahon. If he really wrote that. OMG. It's like that time he caught an Ekins on Pokemon Go in his gym. Do you remember that? Uh, Matt Cardona has tweeted, Thank you, Vince. Retweeting the former chairman and CEO's statement on Twitter. Mandy Rose um has tweeted thank you vince for everything pray hands blue heart um and jim ross just saying wow hell of a day elijah burke has commented as well it's it's pretty non-stop and once again, Vince McMahon trending worldwide. So if Brock's walked out, does that affect SummerSlam? Well, yes, certainly. If, if if he doesn't come back before SummerSlam, I would I would I would suggest that that affects SummerSlam in a in a massive way, my friend. Um, he is of course in the title match, titles match, uh, with with Roman Reigns. He's plastered all over the advertising materials. He's got his face. On a race car right now, plugging SummerSlam. Um, so right now, if you take Brock Lesnar out of the equation, bit of Steiner maths here. You got three segments confirmed to SmackDown before SmackDown. We don't know if any of these are going to happen. There was some sort of in-ring segment with Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey. That might happen. Shinsuke Nakamura, Ludwig Kaiser. That might happen. And Maxine Dupree debuting alongside Maximum Male Models Beachwear line. Possibly the biggest news of the night there. Uh, we will see if that happens. Uh, the Bella Twins, Nikki and Bree, um, have have released a, 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 a short statement, uh, just a tweet regarding Vince McMahon's retirement. Thank you, Vince. You took a chance on the Bella Twins, and I will forever be grateful for that. Enjoy retirement, Bree. Sorry, that was just from Bree. Nikki refusing to comment right now, um, as far as we can tell. Uh, I would expect a message from Nikki in the not too distant future. Um, and there you go. By the time that I stop streaming, and I'll be live for a little bit longer, uh, more will have developed on this. This is it's a situation as I as I click around my monitors here, which is evolving incredibly quickly it's it's changing it's just something that i never ever thought i would see as a wrestling youtube tosser or as a wrestling fan in general i i truly bonkers what else do you say? What else do you say? Um, interesting timing, as one Reddit user pointed out, in fact. He did it on Friday after the stock market closed. 
to save a few quid, <laughs> hasn't he? It'll be interesting to see how the, the you know the the shareholdings are come Monday. He is still. It was made very clear in WWE's corporate statement on corporate.wwe.com that he is still the primary majority shareholder of WWE. Um, but will no longer be serving WWE in a business capacity. Um, eight minutes after the markets closed is when this uh, when this news was announced. Carney till the very end. Um, so we'll see. We'll see, won't we? Um, Again, I'm going to be doing SmackDown reactions tonight in two and a half hours. There's there are, there are a lot of people speculating on Twitter saying that this is a pretend retirement. And that he'll continue to secretly be in charge. And it's very easy to suggest that. Given that his daughter is running the company. You just can't you can't imagine Vince act, actually stepping away. What's he going to do with himself? I don't want to ask that question. Um but I can't imagine this being I don't even want to say the W word. I don't want to say that this is potentially a work because it is just it's uh, Brock Lesnar walking out. Um, as well as the the ramifications on shareholders, it's not. This is um, there's no more Elijah Burke news for now. There's no more Elijah Burke news um, for for now. But I'll keep you updated on on my Elijah Burke uh, Twitter Twitter page. You can you can find that quite easily. I do a lot of Elijah Burke fan fiction. Um, so is it, you know another question to ask. And this is all I've got, by the way, is questions. Will we see more backstage structural changes? There are people who have been there for an awful, awful long time. A name that springs to mind immediately, Kevin Dunn. Will we see things change there? But they've got a lot of long-tenured WWE staff. Uh, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle has um, has tweeted in the past minute or two um, saying, after winning a gold medal in 1996, that was with a broken freaking neck, by the way. Kurt didn't mention that here, but that is the truth. I found my second calling because of Vince McMahon. Thank you for believing in me and giving me the opportunity of a lifetime. I love you, Vince. P.S. I'm still Vince's favourite, Steve. Steve Austin. Tagged in that tweet. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, what about creative? Still got his hand in? No, Sam Cheese. It has been um, it has been uh, made clear by WWE to various reporters that Vince will not be heading up or have input in creative at all. This is a proper stepping away from WWE, an actual retirement. From the company, do not expect Vince to to have input going forward. Um, so yeah, I, again, I'm going to be live in two and a half hours for for SmackDown reactions. We we be very interesting to see if there's any mention of first of all Brock Lesnar generally of the match at SummerSlam. Of Vince as well, one would expect them to open with a Stephanie McMahon promo. I can't think how else they do it. But this is... Yeah, this just absolutely changes everything. This completely changes the pro wrestling industry... Not just specifically WWE. Everything is different now. 
Everything is different. Um, so I'm going to go down. I, I'm, I'm going to recap once again what has happened. Vince McMahon, hour and a half ago, almost to the minute. At 77, time for me to retire. Thank you, WWE Universe. Then, now, forever, together. This was followed up by a press release on corporate.wwe.com. As of this moment, there is nothing mentioned on WWE.com's consumer, viewer, facing homepage. There is nothing there about it. But on corporate.wwe.com, a message from Vince. As I approach 77 years old, I feel that it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE. Throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. I would like to thank my family for mightily contributing to our success, and I would also like to thank all of our past and present WWE superstars and employees for their dedication and passion for our brand. Most importantly, I'd like to thank our fans for allowing us into your homes every week and being your choice of entertainment. I hold the deepest appreciation and admiration for our generations of fans from all over the world who have liked, currently like, and sometimes even love our form of sports entertainment. Our global audience can take comfort in knowing WWE will continue to entertain you with the same fervor, dedication, and passion as always. I'm extremely confident in the continued success of WWE, and I leave our company in the capable hands of an extraordinary group of superstars, employees, and executives, in particular, both chairwoman and co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and co-CEO Nick Khan. As the majority shareholder, I will continue to support WWE in any way I can. My personal thanks to our community and business partners, shareholders, and board of directors for their guidance and support through the years. Then, now, forever, together. Immediately, within minutes, Vince McMahon trending worldwide on Twitter. We now know um of the letter to talent from Vince McMahon. This is a letter that was issued to WWE talent. It's far more informal in its tone. And this isn't a joke. I've got to, I've got to make that clear again. This is from a verified insider source who posted Squared Circle, Kermit125. Again, it sounds like I'm taking the piss. I'm not taking the piss. It's legit. This is the letter to talent from Vince to all WWE superstars. As I approach 77 years old... OMG, am I really that old? I feel it's time for me to retire. I've thoroughly enjoyed sharing my passion, wisdom, and love of the business with you. No longer will you see the smiling, docile, level-headed, calm presence at Gorilla every week. He's doing a little joke. Your dedication to WWE will ensure that our company will continue to grow and prosper. Our organization is nothing without you. You are WWE's only natural resource chosen to perform in front of a global audience. You are all WWE global ambassadors. Clar carry, sorry, the WWE flag wherever you go. Wave it high and proud and bust your ass to be all you can be as a person and as a performer. One other thing, I won't be with you but I will be watching. Remember to keep your hands up, grab a hold, and sell. By the way, SmackDown airs to lie, uh, live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on Fox. Vince. Um, we have now, in fact, an exclusive report um, from Cultaholic. This has just been fed to me um, via the team uh, from uh, a WWE source. I can't say anything more than that. But a source uh, close to Cultaholic saying that uh, plans for SmackDown tonight are definitely in flux. Plans have gone out the window with Brock gone. It's going to be a very, very interesting show indeed. A very interesting show indeed tonight. We, we will see. We will see again. I'll be live in the not-too-distant future. In the words of Vince McMahon himself... It's pandemonium. It really is. Um, Titus O'Neil, who appeared for the first time in God knows how long on Monday Night Raw, uh, has, has just tweeted, at Vince McMahon, thank you for everything. It was very curious, you know, it's curious timing with Titus there, especially if they did know that this was coming for the last week or so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the chat now. I'm going <laughs> to... 
I'm going to actually pay a bit of attention because, as you'll understand, my 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 attention has been elsewhere. I am looking at you. Hello, how's it going? Who replaces Brock? If Brock has walked out, if the reports are to be believed, and all signs point to yes, all signs point to yes, uh, that he has walked out, and that he's peed off, and he said something to the effect of, if he's gone, I'm gone. Who replaces him? We've got Bobby, a lot of people saying Seth, a few people saying Theory, obviously Theory's got the briefcase. Could happen, a lot of people saying Edge, Elijah Burke, a lot of people saying Goldberg. A lot of people saying Goldberg. A few saying Drew. Obviously, that match is, is believed to be coming up. At, um, Clash at the Castle. Early September. People are saying Wyatt. Could happen. Wyndham making some interesting teases once again on social media. Very interesting, that. He quoted Vince McMahon, didn't he? Do you think he caught wind of this? That's really interesting timing. Because he'd gone pretty silent. That's very interesting. Didn't think about that. We'll see. We'll see. Um... Hogan, Cena. What panic button is there to hit? If if Lesnar's unavailable, if Lesnar doesn't want to work, if Lesnar's walked out, what other panic button is there for them to press that isn't Goldberg? Cena is a I guess a possibility. Not Taker. Please not Taker. Dwayne's probably pretty busy. Ric Flair's about to have his last match. Why not two for the lols? Jake? Jake the Snake, what? I, th I, th I think theory is the way that they might go with it. Again, uh, so if you, if, you just, if you just started watching the stream, I've got to stop saying tuned in. Another, in fact... Two exclusives here from Cultaholic. A source close to Cultaholic, first of all, saying that plans for SmackDown tonight in flux, gone out the window with Brock gone. The source is also saying that. I'm not taking the piss here. I'm not taking the piss. This is genuine. This comes from a source close to Cultaholic. It's being fed to me. Thank you very much. Um, if Brock is gone, Goldberg is a genuine possibility. Um, another update now from Fightful Select um, regarding that meeting that took place at 5 p.m. Eastern. It only lasted seemingly about 10 minutes or so. The latest update from Fightful Select. The all-hands-on-deck meeting wasn't as all-hands-on-deck as originally portrayed. We're told that several raw talent weren't required to attend, and it was simply a quick goodbye to those that were there. The internal message to staff initially received was that Vince was retiring, and he wants them to continue waving the flag of WWE. That's very much echoed by the, the leaked message to talent from Kermit on Squared Circle. He is reputable. I know his name's Kermit. Uh, Talent were told in a meeting weeks ago that Vince McMahon was here to stay and wasn't going anywhere. Thus far, we've heard from several people in the company who have not been told who is running the creative end of things for either show at this point. There was a rampant and unconfirmed rumour among Talent that they expect Kevin Dunn to be the next to leave. Wow. Even though Kevin Dunn and Bruce Pritchard are the points of contact for the show tonight, when the same Talent speculated that John Laurinaitis would be ousted, that ended up being the case. So the, ta the, the same talent, the same talent who speculated that Johnny Ace wouldn't be there for much longer, that happened, are now speculating that Kevin Dunn might be out the door too. Wow.
it, it makes it makes me think what else is coming because a few maybe two weeks ago I, I've got a feeling it was two weeks ago to the day the Wall Street Journal reporters the people who reported uh, who 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 did the original article on the Vince McMahon allegations said that there was other stuff that they're working to confirm that would be coming. Pure speculation here. Again, pure speculation. But it's possible that more could be coming from the Wall Street Journal. Again, WWE talent speculating that Kevin Dunn, who's also been with the company forever, could be out the door. He could be next out following Vince McMahon. We've seen corporate restructuring massively over the last month or so, Triple H appointed EVP of Talent Relation today. That was you know made official on WWE's corporate website. I'm going to try and summarize the key points here. I'm going to try and do that because we are still getting people just popping in. As you know, this is all over the place. But key points. Vince McMahon has retired. He has stepped down from WWE in all business capacities. He is not going to be returning as CEO and chairman of the company. He has stepped away from all creative decision making. CEO, co-CEOs now, Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan. Vince McMahon made a statement via both the press release on WWE.com and to talent that was leaked. Um, far more informal in nature. Very much the tone of that. Business as usual. Keep on keeping on. Crack on with it. Smackdown's on air tonight. Brock Lesnar has reportedly walked out from that Smackdown show. He is, and I quote, pissed off. He's left saying something to the effect of if he's gone, I'm gone. Talent involved are now speculating that Kevin Dunn could be out the door. With regard to SmackDown tonight, a source close to Cultaholic has said that WWE's plans for SmackDown tonight are in flux. They've gone out the window with Brock gone. He was, of course, going to be the focal point of tonight's SmackDown show. And the source is also stating that if Brock is gone, Goldberg is a genuine possibility for that match in eight days' time at SummerSlam. <sighs> so right now, as it stands, the SummerSlam card is Logan Paul Miz, Bianca Becky, Riddle Rollins... Liv Rousey, Uso's Prophets, Lashley Theory, Pat McAfee, Happy Corbin, the one that looks in doubt if reports are to be believed, Roman Reigns in that last man standing match for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Brock Lesnar. We've had a lot of people both Both current WWE talent and personnel, as well as former WWE talent and staff, thanking Vince for everything that he's done. Um, some of those include Brie Bella, Matt Cardona, Mandy Rose is there, um, Elijah Burke, all making brief comments on social media. It's been confirmed to Fightful that this is not part of a storyline. This is legit. And it's going to be a very, very interesting few months. <laughs> A very, very interesting few months indeed. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I apologize once again for 
how all over the place this has been. I'm about to schedule a live stream for tonight. 1am, Smackdown, live reactions. We have no idea what that's going to look like. Not a not a bloody clue what that show is going to be like. There will be lots more to talk about by the time that I go live in just over two hours. Thank you very, very much. Um, coverage will continue on cultaholic.com. All hands are on deck here. And what a messy deck it is on this historic Friday night as Vince McMahon has stepped down. Thank you ever, ever so much for tuning in to this live stream. Again, we will keep you updated. Cultaholic.com. As soon as stuff breaks, we're going to get it up there as quick as possible. And I will see as many of you as possible for the SmackDown live reactions in just over two hours. Thank you very, very much. I'm in disbelief. No, thank you all. Thank you very much. Uh, and most importantly, more important than you, the viewer. No, most importantly, thank you to everybody who's just been feeding me stuff constantly. Um, everybody has been helping out. Uh, Jack, Lewis, Aiden, Tom, Owen, Ross. If I've missed anybody, I'm very, very sorry. Fraser, cheers. Thank you to everybody who's, who's helped me out here tonight. Um, it's been very much a team effort. Thank you. Uh, once again, Vince McMahon is no longer with WWE. Vince McMahon has retired. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a few hours.